Hey everyone, welcome to episode 16 of my Fresh Start World Journey. This episode, I'm going to be knocking out quite a bit of quests. I'm going to finish off that skill and grind like I said I would last episode. And so I can do within the light. So, make sure to like, subscribe, don't forget to check out the earlier episodes if you haven't. So you can see the journey so far. Alright guys, so I missed a couple of levels because I was busy doing some uh, bossing on the main while I was AFKing these uh, trees. So I did get to 47, which is the level needed for Acadia trees. And then I immediately started chopping those and I'm at 52. I think I'm just going to keep doing these till 75. I have porters, so that should get me going for a while. Once I hit level 2 in loyalty to this house, I'll be able to start using the deposit box. So that should also be a little bit nicer. But just thought I'd give you an update. Okay, so I've been doing lots of wood cutting, just giving an update, and I'm now at 56 wood cutting. Still off the same inventory of porters, so these trees are definitely fast XP. Not sure how, I still think I'm going to stay here till 75. I'm not sure if it's worth switching to the vines at 68, but uh, yeah, I'll be back with the next level. That's a decent upgrade. Hey everyone, I didn't want to leave everyone wondering where I get a bunch of loot in my next clips that I'm going to be using. So with the rainbow event, I was able to get a crap ton of oddments, which I have used to buy keys. Um, as you can see, I only have one left I can get today. And this is the clairvoyant one where I can see what I'm going to pick. So this really allows me to just kind of grab whatever I want to that I think will be best for my account. I'm definitely going to just keep going with silver hawk feathers and such. But anyways, just wanted you guys to see that because I'll likely be using some of this stuff in future clips. And I don't want you to wonder where it came from. Okay, I also turned in the paper from those keys and was able to get uh, enough lamps to get to 45 summoning. I've been using my lamps on summoning. I think I'm going to switch to herb lore, or sorry, to prayer, because that's pretty expensive to train here. So, okay, just thought I'd share that, and I will be back with uh, 75 woodcutting, hopefully. So, while woodcutting the trees, the scarabs spawn, which, if you haven't played before, when you stomp on them, you get Slayer XP. So it's free Slayer XP without having to do combat, which is great. So I can just stomp these here. And from here, you can right click on the tomb From here, you can right-click on the tomb, enter and exit. Oh. From here, if you enter and exit the tomb, you'll spawn them again. You will also gain favor in the house you have selected. If you right-click and teleport, or travel, there will be more at other locations for you to kill. So I'm starting at 64 Slayer and I'll be back with whatever level I get. Okay, so I guess they're all gone. I didn't get a level off of that, but now you know how to do them and what they, what they do if you see them before or again. Okay, so I hate 61 wood cutting. I think I'm going to buy a dragon hatchet. I do have about 3.6 mil left from making those divine charges. So I'll, I should be okay to go to, I think, 2.5 mil. It's going to be a good, good place to start for this. So... Uh, yeah, there we go. That was a good idea. Oh, it's only went for 500k. 
Okay, um, well that's great. So yeah, I'm just going to chuck this in my tool belt and get going with it. So I will be back hopefully when I get... Ooh. Actually, I'm not going to add it to my tool belt. I'm going to wield it because I... Oh, I can't wield it. Okay, I guess I'll have to do this uh, old-fashioned way and just hold it in my inventory. Um, I do... I don't want to add it to my tool belt because I want to make it into a crystal one once I eventually unlock Prith. Even if I don't do it while it's fresh starts. But I hope to hear soon. Alright, so I did take a break to check my Anachronia camp and I can upgrade the sleeping quarters. Which gives me more workers. So I'm going to go back and do uh, the town hall and upgrade that so I can upgrade the other buildings. Because prioritizing these two makes everything else easier. So if I reset, I just need wood. Uh, vines and rocks okay I'll check back in the next few days and we'll see where I'm at hopefully I get enough hey guys so while I was wood cutting I'm only at 63 right now I notice I got a level up and I have 1400 points which means I get the next unlock with my Fresh Start Worlds points. So I'm going to hop over there and see what I can get. Okay, so I'm going to go to the shop, open the shop, and yep, Boona the Artisan. So it doubles the max actions of any cooking blah 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 methods. So this will allow me to produce faster, I believe. Or I cook two at once. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and activate that. And then from here, get back to wood cutting. So I ran out of porters and I don't want to take the time to go get more. So I'll show you guys the method I am using right now. Actually, while I home teleport, I also do have 500 feathers in my silver hawk boots. So as I get XP, I will also get XP in agility. Okay, so to do this, you need level or tier 2 in the Imperial District. I would highly recommend being able to wield whatever hatchet you have or have it in your um, tool belt, unless you're like me and can't. But you'll woodcut the tree here and use this deposit box here to deposit the logs. If you don't have the axe and hatchet in your inventory, you can just right click and select deposit all, which is why I kind of recommend get, having that for this. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to chopping trees and hopefully continue to get towards 75 wood cutting. Okay, just wanted to share, I did get 70 wood cutting. So, there is that. I can now collect sentinel fragments. That is the outfit. And I have 20 invention. So I can get the outfit once I get the chance for it. I think at 71, yeah, I unlocked the crystal hatchet. Which is interesting because I'm pretty sure you can't get the crystal hatchet until you unlock Prifendis, which is the elf city. Which you need 75 wood cutting to get. So, it's just interesting. Anyways, I will be back with 75. Alright, so I was doing a farming run because I realized eventually I will need 75 farming. Anyways, anyways, I ended up getting 63 farming. And so yeah, just thought I'd share that. I'm going to keep doing wood cutting and farming, hopefully get some levels hey guys while turning in my note papers 
from wood cutting. I was taking a break. I was redeeming them, and I've been using my lamps on archaeology. Well, I got to 51 archaeology, so I actually haven't even trained this skill. I'm already 51 just from doing uh, all the questing I've done and participating in the events going on. So I'm going to use more lamps on it. Don't think I'm going to get a level here, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm at 72 wood cutting, so I'm getting really close to the end. All right, guys, so this is going to be 75 wood cutting. One more log. There we go. The grind is over. So, let me get to the bank and I'll show you all the logs I cut in this journey. So, there's about 5,000 Acadia logs and 220 Willow logs. So I am going to try and fire make all of these. I think I can... Do I have the level or will I... Yeah, I can just straight go into the Acadia logs. So I would start that, but I need to get 75 attack first. So I got dummies while doing spins. So I'm going to use those with my crystal bow and try and get 75 attack. Or 75 ranged, I mean. So that'll be the next one I need and then I can do within the light. So, okay, I will be back when that is done. All right, there is 75 ranged. So, that should be, yep, I now have all the requirements I need for Within the Light. I am going to go do that quest. I will be back when it is done. Okay, this should be the end of within the light there it is awesome so that's 35k agility 20k fletching 20k range 20k wood cutting so lots of xp and 50 fresh start points two more quest points up to 37 137 so t the final quest to unlock the elf city is going to be plague's end but I don't have near the levels and quite a few skills for that yet. So rather than do a bunch of skilling right now, I am going to go ahead and switch back to pursuing curses. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the quest line for that. Up oh, there is 75 agility, which is actually one of the requirements for Plague's End. But yeah, I'm going to switch back to getting the quest for Temple... for. On. Okay, so Plague's End is the quest to unlock the Elf City. As you can see, I need 75 and a lot of skills, which I'm pretty far off on. However, the next quest... The next quest, or the quest line that unlocks curses, is going to be for the Temple at Sentenstein. Which, I just need to do the Curse of Erov and Devious Mines. I've still got quite a few quests to do for Curse of Erov. So I'm going to work on these quests. I'm thinking either Missing My Mummy or Shades of Morton is going to be next. So I will be right back. Okay, so I realized I need 45 prayer for this quest. So I bought some dragon bones and I'm just out here in the wilderness. Uh, this altar functions just like your altar in your player-owned house. However... um. You don't need to worry about burners. And because the wilderness is safe now, there's a bank right there. It's pretty much the best way to train prayer early on. So, that's 45 prayer. And I should be good to go. Okay, just finished missing my mummy. I seem to have missed it. So you can see here in the chat box, I'm uh, missing my mummy. I am now going to be doing Troll Romance, so that's going to be the next quest I do. I'll try not to miss the recording this time. Okay, this should be the end of Troll Romance. There I go. Okay, 140 quest points. 
so 10 away from the needed to get the next uh, Halo piece. So I will get back to questing and be back with the next one. And there I have finished Shades of Morton. So I think my next quest is going to be uh, Defender of Varrock. So I will be back when that one is done. All right, I actually think I'm gonna take a break from questing for a bit. I have 903 Protean planks just from daily spins and converting my other Protean items. And I think I'm gonna try and get towards 75 construction. This is gonna be one of my more expensive ones to get for Plague's End, so I think I'm gonna try and knock as much of it out of the way now as I can. So I'm gonna use portable skillers in Earthwork and I will be back when I have finished using these items. Okay, finished off. Those planks definitely didn't have enough for 75, but got a decent way towards uh, 64. So, got a decent ways of the way to there though. So, that's nice. I don't know what I'm going to do next. But I will be back with whatever I end up doing. Okay, so while I have been doing all these skills and everything, and doing my daily keys, I've been using some stuff on invention, so I have all these unlocks I can get. So I'm going to finish all of these. I'm starting at 21 invention. We'll see what level I finish at. Okay, so I finished discovering everything I can at my workbench. I got to 23 invention. Uh, the big things that I unlocked are going to be some skilling outfits. So I can make five pieces of the divination one. So while you're skilling, once you hit level 70 in the skill, you start getting outfit pieces. So I can do uh, eight pieces for the camouflage one, and or for the thieving one, and five pieces for the divination one uh the other big things that i unlocked is i can now augment tools and if i go to skilling support i can make the hammertron pyromatic and fishing rodomatic these allow me to train these uh, fishing fire making or smithing and get xp in invention while training those skills mm -hmm. I do need to get a few pieces for these before I can unlock them, or components, I mean. So I will have to do that as they come along. Probably the best one for me to knock out right away is going to be the fishing one. I can get this from bows, the flexible components, and then dexterous components as well. So at some point I am going to have to fletch my own bows, but I think I'm going to finish getting those last 50 quest points. I'm at 143. I can probably do two quests and be done. So I'm going to try and knock out two different quests. I'll be back with the first one and however many quest points I get. Okay, this should be the end of Gunner's Ground. It finishes. There we go. Five quest points, 300 crafting. Definitely do this early, but because it's five quest points, I just need one more that gives two quest points, and I'll be at the needed 50. So, yeah, 125 fresh start world task points as well. So, all right, I will be back with the next quest. All right, this should be the end of Defender of Varrock. Awesome. There we go. I now have seven out of eight tokens needed for the crown. Or sorry, for the halo. I'm going to claim these XP lamps. There we go. One level, 57 hunter. So, okay guys, I'm going to call an episode there. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure to like it if you haven't, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.